Hi Red Face, it's Miss Kaylee here. So this week in maths you've been counting forwards and backwards. So let's start by counting up to number 10 forwards and then we will go backwards. Are we ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then let's go backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brilliant, well done. And I've got another story for us today and it's going to count backwards starting from number 10. Our story is Wibbly Pig has 10 balloons. Can you count all of these lovely balloons that Wibbly Pig has got? Should we count them together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten balloons, says Wibbly Pig, and all of them are mine. Can I have one, says Tiny Pig. So ten turns into... Billy Pig is saying, not the teddy bear balloon, that's my favourite. Nine. Nine balloons, says Scruffy Pig, and Tiny Pig's got one. Nine balloons and one makes ten, and that leaves me with none. Oh, I think Scruffy Pig wants a balloon as well. All right, Scruffy Pig. You can have one too, but not the teddy bear balloon. Eight balloons, says Spotty Pig, and Scruffy's got one too. All right, choose one, says Wibbly Pig. The one he picks is... Blue. Not the teddy bear balloon. Seven. Wibbly Pig has seven balloons, but not for very long. He's only just stopped counting them. Ding dong! <gasps> when Pig Ears comes along. Not just Pig Ears, Big Pig too, and Pig Twins, both of them. And someone else he's never met, Big Pig's sister's friend. <gasps> You see all of these pigs? Can I have one? Can I? We can share. May I have one too, please? <gasps> Has he got enough balloons to share with everybody? Let's find out. Thank you very much, Wibbly. Okay, these pigs look very happy. Wibbly Pig is sharing. Six, five, four, three. So now he has to count again. Not six, not five, not four, just three balloons is all he has. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. But who's this at the door? Who is going to be at the door? Shall we find out? It's Big Pig's sister. She wants one too. Let me have one, let me. She pouts and shouts and stumps about, but Wibbly won't agree. Oh, can you see she's looking very cross? She flounces out, she flounces in. She knows she'll get her way. She holds her breath, she stares and glares till Wibbly says, okay. She grabs the strings from Wibbly. The pink one with the bow. That's the one I want, she squeals. <gasps> and she lets the others go. Can you see here, she's got the pink one. But she's let these ones fly away. <gasps> she let the others go. Oh no. How do we think Wibbly's going to be feeling? 
Oh, no balloons for Wibbly Pig. He wants to cry. No balloons for Wibbly Pig. But then nearby, a little voice, a weeny voice, a tiny voice is squealing. Please get me down, please get me down. I'm up here on the ceiling. Oh, you see this tiny pig? This balloon is much too big. You can have it, Wibbly Pig. Wibbly sniffs, helps Tiny down, then sniffs some more and stops. Thank you, Tiny Pig, he says. And that is when... <gasps> it pops! Oh, the big balloon has popped. Wibbly Pig and Tiny Pig sit sadly in the park. They talk away the afternoon. They talk until it's dark. No balloon, sighs Wibbly Pig, and started out with Ted. That teddy bear balloon was best. I had three left and then. But Tiny Pig's not listening. He's staring at the moon. There's something floating past it. The teddy bear balloon. My teddy bear balloon came back, says Wibbly with a grin. And Tiny's grinning too because... One came back for him. I hope you liked our counting story today of Wibbly Pig has ten balloons. Well done for listening, Red Face. We'll see you again soon. Bye.